Welcome to our MRU YouTube channel. We hope you enjoy the content. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Today we are reviewing the Peltier Gas Cooler. A continuous emission monitoring system has many components. The sample probe, the heated sampling line, the main control unit, the gas conditioning system, the measuring modules, and the COM ports. Today we will review the Peltier Gas Cooler, which is part of the gas conditioning system. But first, why do we need a gas cooler? The gas that we extract is hot. To avoid condensation, the gas is transported through a heated sampling line. Condensation, or moisture is bad when measuring especially in O2 and SO2. Both gas components dissolve when getting in contact with water. Once the gas reaches the analyzer, the gas is cooled down and the moisture is removed immediately. This is especially important for long-term measurements that need to be accurate and produce repeatable results. Thermoelectric coolers are active solid-state heat pumps, using the Peltier effect to move heat away from sensitive electronics. Also referred to as Peltier coolers, these devices are a more efficient and much smaller alternative to compressor-based cooling systems. During operation, DC current flows through the thermoelectric cooler to create heat transfer and a temperature differential across the module. One side of the thermoelectric cooler is cold, while the other side is hot. The cold side heat sink absorbs heat from inside the cooler, while the hot side heat sink rejects heat to the ambient environment. A standard single-stage thermoelectric cooler can achieve temperature differentials of up to 70 degrees Celsius and transfer heat at a rate of up to 350 watts. Thermoelectric coolers are also environmentally friendly, as they do not require refrigerants to dissipate heat. Here are some of the advantages. It is very compact in size. Solid-state construction provides robust reliability. There are no moving parts. It can be heated and cooled for precise temperature control. There is no need for hazardous CFC refrigerants. It can be mounted in most any orientation, and the operating cost is low. Let's have a look at the Peltier element components. Two ceramic, electrical insulators. Two copper, electrical conductors. The P-type, semiconductors. The N-type, semiconductors. And the wire leads. One side having the heat absorption, being the cold side. And one side having the heat rejection, being the hot side. Gas coolers are used for portable and stationary analyzers. We will now look at some of the possible models starting with the single-stage gas cooler, which can be used in tandem to have a dual gas cooler. The gas cooler components are the cooling body, an O-ring, the temperature sensor, the condensate body, the Peltier element, the fan, the heat sink, and the insulation. Next up is the compact MRU dual stage gas cooler with a fan, a mounting panel, a heat sink, solenoid valves, Peltier Element 1, and Peltier Element 2, gas cooler module 2, and gas cooler module 1, and then all the insulation and the hoses. And last, but not least, the self-sufficient dual-stage gas cooler, for stationary emission analyzers, which has two condensate glass cylinders, a display, a fan, two peltier elements and a cooling body. Seen here, a hot gas entrance, the gas is being chilled, the cold gas outlet and the condensate outlet. Here is a list of MRU analyzers with gas cooler, either optional or as standard. The Nova Compact, the Nova Plus Emission and Biogas Analyzer, the Vario Lux Emission and Singas Analyzer, the MGA Prime, the SWG100 Singas and Biogas Analyzer, the SWG100 CEM, 200 CEM and the SWG300 SIMS. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.